What's up, guys? It's Coach Eric Scowen at Gladiators Academy of Youngsville. This is my, one of our students, Kyle. Uh, this is the, uh, how to set up the rear naked choke with a body triangle. And you can use this uh, specifically for MMA. It's kind of a crank, all right? So the idea is that, hey, I get this uh, seat belt position. And look, you can go to your uh, underside or, or overhook side. It really doesn't matter. Uh, today, I'm going to fall to my overhook side first. All right, so from this position, bam, we fall to this overhook side, all right? And I want to go ahead and to get this body triangle, I want to start bringing his hand up and kind of messing with his face. And from here, he's going to start worrying about up top. When he does, my foot's going to go on the hip, and notice how I create this angle, all right? And my shin is going to go right across this soft tissue right here, and from here, I'm able to lock up my body triangle. Make sure I have strong, call it jiu-jitsu toes, strong ankles, strong toes, my, to my toes pointed up. And from here, I can either A, lock behind his leg right here, and I can start working my attacks. The only problem with this, and you can go for your traditional rear naked choke, but a lot of times they, they really defend that, all right? A lot of times also when I go for his body triangle, he starts to get his back to the mat. So in order to kind of salvage this, look, my foot is gonna go to the inside of his leg right here. And this is can kind of buy me some time. So I can still do my traditional rear naked choke. It's a little bit harder because my arms are kind of short, right? So what I wanna do now, I wanna get up on my elbow and now I'm gonna go ahead and kind of make like the eye of raw. And I'm gonna come right underneath his face right here. Once I get this through, even if his chin's down, it doesn't matter. I'm gonna go palm on palm, and from here I'm gonna extend out, all right? And I'm gonna get the tap, all right? So it's just like a palm on palm grip right here, and I'm bringing my hips in, all right? And they, their body starts to explode, all right? So uh, one more time with that, seat belt. I fall to the overhook, start attacking. Foot goes on the hip and watch how I create that angle and I'm gonna lock. Lock behind this leg if you can. If not, I can go to this far side too. From here, I can get up on my elbow, all right? And he's gonna try to start turning into it, but it's a little too late. And now I'm just gonna go palm on palm right to my rooster choke and I'm gonna squeeze and I'm gonna get the tap. Now, in order for him to defend, a lot of times they, they, uh, people roll to, uh, to this side, all right? So Kyle's gonna start, he's gonna go ahead and he's gonna roll to this side right here, all right? Now this is immediately, it's gonna to start to put pressure on my ankle, all right? So I wanna make sure, hey, look, developing your ankle strength and flexibility does take a little time. The more you do this, the better you get at it and the better you will stand. But mainly, don't let him push that knee down right here and he's gonna pop his hips out. Yeah, push his hips forward. Yeah, it's gonna create a lot of pressure. So I'm just gonna keep this real tight right here. Same thing, guys, I'm gonna get up on his elbow while he's focusing on all that and I'm just gonna scoop under his face right here. Same thing, big chest, boom. Whenever I do these chokes, I don't want to be real low because I can't really see what's going on, right? He's kind of fighting. Once again, I can really see what's going on, all right? And if I need to, I can grab his face, dig it back, and I'm going to dig underneath as well. All right, so let's just roll through that whole series one more time. Seat belt. I fall to the overhook side, start attacking his hand, wrist, mouth, bam. I lock the triangle. Let me finish it from behind here now. Now I can get up on my elbow, bam. Hook him right here, boom. Choke number one, he goes, he rolls to this side over here. No big deal, keep this tight. Don't let him push this down and get his hips forward and notice I'm real high. I'm not down here, I'm up high right here and now I can scoop underneath, big chest, just like that. All right guys, so that is the body triangle to some face cranks.